Poland, of course, we, we, we quite often highlight in terms of transport of horses. But it's worth noting, transport of horses itself is the problem, not the horses or indeed the way they were brought up. Many of those horses look absolutely wonderful when they leave Poland. It's the problems that they occur in transport and where they're going. Our attitudes to the horse meat trade, um, thick might and, and the value of horse meat may have to change, uh, bec partly because if that's true then, and they value their horses, they look after them well because they're in the horse meat trade, and it's the transport that are the problem, should we be considering a real market for horse meat? And would that reduce the number of welfare cases if there was a real value in the horse meat sector? I chuck that out for what it's worth um, because I think it needs a debate. And arguably, our response to the horse meat scandal, the scandal was that that was food that was improperly marked, not that it had horse meat in it. And that if you put the correct label on it and put it back on the shelves, that would have been the correct answer for everybody. Because we need to be more honest about what's happening. And as I was reminded not so long ago by somebody who travelled in France, the most expensive piece of meat in the local butcher was a fillet of horse meat. We've got to face that. We've got to understand whether this, that value has also a part to play in how we reduce welfare cases because the value of the animal to every individual is slightly different but if it has real financial value then you look a little bit further ahead in the way in which you look after your animals.